we are making some wheat flour beautiful people that you can use for your brown bread and for some puff puff even let's get started so i have with me here wheat and um, what you can do with this is to wash it and air dry it uh, but i am just going to clean this with my tissue i don't like it when the wheat soaks a lot of water you know if you are washing rice it's so easy but with wheat it soaks so much water so um this is how i do it i take my tissue or paper kitchen towel um paper towel <laughs> i put it in my colander and then i'll just be cleaning in while i'm doing this any unwanted stuff like weevils like that you know be coming out of this now this colander is quite big so after cleaning it um the first time i'll pour it into my um, second colander and then clean it i've done some before that had a lot of weevils so by this time you should have seen the weevils you know falling out but this one was relatively clean that means less job for the girl <laughs> and i want to mention that this video was inspired by a ram of exhibiting mamesh recipe and um, she shared a version where she used her blender you know the dry meal her blender to sort of blend this but then i will be doing it differently i'll be taking it um to my cornmeal so there were some little little you know weevils in there i was just trying to zoom in to show you but unfortunately the camera cannot capture <laughs> so yeah make sure you clean your your um wheat i hope i'm not saying millet once everything is nice and clean i take it to the commercial meal this is a commercial meal a masai meal nike nika how do you call this in your language my in my adam we call it goji uh -huh. so they are going to blend this multiple times okay so this is the first one you see how rough it's looking here yeah, that's the guy who does a great job for me most of the time when i go there yeah so i go in again this is the second round so for you to have a very um, smooth powder you have to blend it um, multiple times so i blended this about um, six to seven times it was that generous sometimes when you go to the meal you don't have a very pleasant person they do one two three and they tell you that it's okay girl <laughs> so i come back home i let this cool completely then this thing that i'm coming to do is not even needed because my guy blended the thing nicely for me it's so smooth okay but um, in case you find someone who probably didn't blend it well for you um, you may just have to strain it a bit or sieve it a bit why do i say strain sieve this <laughs> and this the uh, sieve this a bit but as i said you would see from what is left from the seed that um, this process is actually not needed when especially when you go to the commercial meal okay now all this that's collected here are chaps that are actually good for our tummy so i kept them all in and it's as simple as that i would recommend you if you have some space in your fridge you keep this in your fridge because if you don't use it um, on time and it's lying there weevils are able to enter and sometimes you, you have these worms as well so if you do not want that please keep them in your fridge and most importantly keep it in an airtight container cover and I have recipes of this coming out i use this for puff puff and some brown bread i want to say thank you so much for joining me again once again today and um, god bless you i appreciate your support my name is siano king can you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and a massive shout out to aram it was after you shared your your recipe on wheat that i was motivated to take my to the meal so big abs girl god bless you i see you again all beautiful people in another video you <laughs>